Here is a fun ruffle skirt refashion to make your wardrobe more fun and flirty for this upcoming season. All you need is a skirt or dress that fits you well or is just a little big and some extra supplement fabric. Cut the top of the dress off and make sure to leave the zipper intact. Leave about an inch or so off the zipper for the waistband and a half inch of fabric on the sides. Add some pins to the top of the zipper so the zipper pull doesn't come off. Cut the skirt open in the front, preferably on the side. Try on the skirt in a wrapped position and see if you can make any adjustments, if it needs to be taken in here or there, or if fabric needs to be added. If you're taking it in, take it in in the darts and the seams evenly. Just make sure the zipper stays where it should be in the center back or the side. If the skirt doesn't wrap around enough, just add fabric to the under part by taking some from the extra material. Now that you have a wrap skirt, you must mark and cut it into a curve like so. Take the extra fabric on the bottom of the skirt or from the extra material and cut it three inches wide and the length of your waist plus an inch. Then fold the edges in a half inch and fold it in half and iron. You can also add in the facing to stiffen the waistband. Then pin the waistband to the extra material next to the zipper top and around the top of the skirt. Top stitch the waistband down around the zipper and around the top of the skirt. Make sure to fold and stick the top of the zipper inside the waistband. Also, fold under the wrap skirt edge at the top to conceal the raw edge. Now, cut three or four circles for the flounce or ruffle. Make each circle's inner diameter be four and a half inches and the width of the ruffle four and a half inches. Once cut and stretched out, the flounce length will be around 14 or 15 inches. Make as many circles that will equal the length of the bottom of the skirt edge. Sew all the ruffles together, then hem the outer edge around a quarter inch under as well as the ends. You can zigzag stitch the edge before this if you want to prevent fraying, but I just made sure to sew it very close and added fray check. Then pin the inner edge of the ruffle to the skirt right sides together. Sew and search any raw edges.
top stitch down the ruffle in place if you want, but I just ironed it flat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and visit cottonandcurls.com for more DIYs.